Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another video. So I just finished building this sliding gate here in my property and I'm gonna be showing you guys every single step that I took so you guys could do one yourself. Now there's a lot of assembly required so let's get started right away. All right, first things first, you gotta start with a clear working area. So I hired Harry, he's a local retired guy here in Las Cruces who does cheap dirt work. I'll put his contact information down in the description. So he was able to clear out the old concrete in no time and it was time to start building. So I wanted the gate entrance to be 14 feet so it was time to start measuring and cutting 2x4s to make a form for the concrete. Pro tip, always reinforce concrete with rebar, it will last forever. After adding the rebar, it was time to pour in the concrete. After a trip to Mesilla Valley Metals here in Las Cruces, I welded a metal door measuring 15 feet by 5 feet high using a welder I bought on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description if anyone is interested in the welder. I also welded a couple of V-Groove metal wheels onto the gate so it was time to mount it onto the track. The next step we're gonna be bolting down this track, the V track, it's a angle iron that's, we're gonna be using it as a track and then the gate is gonna have wheels so it's gonna be sliding over it. So we need to secure this track where the gate is gonna be sliding on. Um, we also need to install some power. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, this is right here, we're gonna have the motor. So we need to bring some power from all the way there uh, we're gonna also have some power over here just in case we need the extra power during Christmas for Christmas lights or stuff like that and yeah let's go ahead and dig a trench and then we'll run some power lines All right, so the gate is finally finished. The wheels are on, uh, it's working perfectly. It opens just fine. So the next step is to mount the motor and get the chain ready so the motor could open the gate. But for now, it's working really good. Um, I'm really liking it. So let's just go ahead and get on to the next step. Alright, so I'm back. It's another day. It's very windy, so hopefully the sound sounds alright. Um, but I did get the motor mounted onto the concrete using some anchor bolts. Let's take a look. So there it is. Um, then I got it all wired up. The sensors, the power, that's all going through the underground. And then it's all hidden over there. There's there's one sensor over there on that side and then another sensor right here just in case something passes by unexpectedly while it's operating it'll automatically stop it. We also have a magnet sensor right here so when it opens completely it knows where to stop. I have the chain mounted on already but it's a little loose it's hanging very low so let's tighten that up and then we could try it out. Thank you. 
All right, so I timed the chain, so let's just try out that remote that it came with um, and see if it works. So it's working perfect. I really like it. I think it's gonna be amazing to have this. Um, the next step is to make it look nice. All right, so these beams right here are concrete posts. They're gonna be covered with decorative stones. Uh, but first we need the power of the Home Depot. So let's go and get them at Home Depot. Actually, first we need to take out the trash because today is trash day and we don't wanna have an overfilled trash can. So let's do that. some decorative stones for the gate entrance um, but yeah Home Depot they always have good stuff and good prices and you can always find everything that you need for a home improvement project there um, so yeah let's go ahead and go there and we'll get what we need Okay, so we have a change of plans. Uh, they don't have any decorative stones that I need here, so we're gonna get that somewhere else. But we are gonna get some lighting here, so let's just go check that out. Okay, so you're gonna have to forget everything I said about the Home Depot. They don't always have what you need. So we're gonna go to Lowe's. Hey guys, I'm back from the Lowe's. I was able to find the stone that I was looking for there. Uh, it's called Ledge Stone, um, available at Lowe's. Um, I also got some lighting at the Home Depot, which I already installed using some anchor bolts. So we're gonna get started in putting up this ledge stone that I have here. So I need to mix up the mortar that I have here. Um, we have our tools here, the drill. And then to cut the ledge stone, we're gonna be using this grinder, which has a diamond tip blade on it um, just so I could cut this a lot better instead of it breaking it but yeah let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I finally finished the gate after working on this for a couple of months uh, for a couple of hours a day, sometimes every other day or sometimes every other week. 
but I finally finished this. I ended up spending about $1,200 on this for everything, the material. Uh, that's not including any labor. I ended up spending about 40 hours, I would say, on this total. But yeah, so far I'm really loving this. I don't have to get off my truck to open the door manually. I could just push the button and it will open automatically. But yeah, that is it for today. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below anything, any questions that you guys might have. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.